Okay, very soon, Curiosity is going to set down on the surface of Mars. Curiosity is about one ton. In order for people to work and live and access the surface of Mars, we're talking about landed masses of 20 to 40 tons to the surface. So we really have to step it up in order of magnitude in what we can get to the surface. But before we do that, we got to get stuff off the surface of Earth. Curiosity went up on an expendable launch vehicle. In order to get humans there and their environments and their systems, we need a larger launch vehicle. That's what the Space Launch System is. So coming about uh, 2017, we'll have the first launch of the Space Launch System. After that, the next step in getting to Mars is in-space transportation. We have to be more efficient than old-style chemical rockets. So that's solar electric propulsion, nuclear thermal rockets, nuclear electric propulsion, those type of things. Once we get those advanced propulsion capabilities, that'll get us to Mars in a more efficient manner with less propellant. Maybe not quicker, but with less propellant. We, have, we, we get that challenge now, I just mentioned with Curiosity, how do we get to the surface? So these habitats and rovers that house people, because they're people-sized, and we're talking about crews of anywhere from four to six people to Mars, they have to be fairly large. So they get bigger, they grow to 20, 40 ton pieces. So you have to get those down. And, and, and again, given the thin atmosphere of Mars and, and, and given the gravity of Mars, which is twice as much as the moon, it's hard to get there. So we got to solve that problem. And then even if we get to the surface, we still have to be able to survive on that surface. And this is operating those systems in that cold, dry, dusty, radiation-soaked environment and have them been reliable enough that 500 days later, I can go ahead and get into my scent vehicle and go back up and do everything in reverse and get back to Earth. So it's quite a challenge right now. Uh, but what we're doing with our missions, uh, uh, you know, looking at going to ANEA and cislunar missions and, and building out towards Mars, is reducing those risks and testing those technologies. Just that someday we will be ready to go to Mars.